Good morning, ESM. I'm Owen. Jaden, we're on. Oh, oh, and I'm Jaden. Today we're looking at an old piece of tech to see if it's even still used today. But for some more modern news, uh, off to news. <laughs> While peace talks have been continuing, Russia continues attacks on Ukraine, and no progress has been made. Ukraine continues that attacks cease during discussions of peace. However, Putin firmly discuss dismisses this and says they will not allow Ukraine to be a military threat to their south. Schools and orphanages have been bombed. Airports and roads have been destroyed as Russia attempts to destroy their infra infrastructure. Russia is expected to continue this brutality with Western experts predicting an increase in heavy weapons, bombardment, and a march of tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine. While Ukraine has held the Russians at bay and prevented them from taking any major cities, they are heavily outmanned and outgunned. Therefore, they are reaching out to their neighbors and the international community. A no-fly zone over Ukraine was discussed but quickly taken off the table by President Biden. Although Ukraine continues to remind their Western allies that previously they've given up their nuclear weapons in exchange for promised protection from the international community, which they now need. These events have hit home for people in the ESM community who have family in U currently in Ukraine. To stay connected with these events and opportunities to show a Google Classroom has been established by Ms. Botenko. Uh, the classroom code is I K U N. 2NLS. Syracuse Downtown Dining Week has officially returned with over 50 restaurants offering deals. Some of these years participants include Board and Bar Charcuterie, Danny Steaks, and Farm Girl Juicery. The Dining Week has been held as a way to drive businesses during the slow period of the year we're in for restaurants. Jim Beheim said Wednesday afternoon that his wife Julie was shook up after her encounter with a gun-wielding kid at Destiny USA. According to police reports, Julie Beheim was sitting in her car near the Cheesecake Factory on Tuesday at 2.08 p.m. when she was approached by a young person. The person spoke with Julie Beheim before pointing a gun at her and reaching into the car to grab her purse. She's definitely shook up. I mean, this isn't television, it's not movies, it's real life, Jim Beheim said Wednesday afternoon on Brent Axe's radio show. Somebody puts a gun in your face, she's handling it, well, better than I probably would, or most people, I think. But it's not easy. She's a little shook, but I think she's doing much better than could be expected. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So what is this old tech you're talking about? Have you heard of MP3 players? I think I had one when I was younger, but I'm a little shaky on it. MP3 players were devices that play MP3, that play MP3 files, hence the name, or other digital audio files. Yeah, the way they work is that they're basically a storage device. You drop your audio files that you transfer from your computer. You can transfer them pretty easy, but again, not as easy as nowadays. Um, and it basically is just copying files from your computer right to the player. Storage capacity is crazy, however, ranging from 2 gigabyte to 256 gigabyte, which is quite a lot of storage. Uh, they were first made back in the 19 back in 1997 by Sehan. It's a North Korean company. Launched they launched a 32 gigabyte one and a 64 gigabyte MP3 player, where you could hold either six songs or 12. They eventually became popular, and other companies like Apple made these MP3 players as well. Some came in really weird shapes as well. Some we just kind of found and we thought they were funny, but they are imaginary. Like this MP. Oh wait, go back. Guys. Yeah, the one that looked like a cross. Yeah. Of course, it's not real, but we think it's kind of funny. Yeah. Like, and then the next MP3 player we have is this something called a Rio or something. What do you think, Owen? I mean, at first I kind of thought it was just a camera, but... Yeah, it's called the Rio Cali Sport. The next one is this cute MP3 looking like a fidget cube. Don't I know, it looks like, like an like a older GameCube, but like just for music. 
Yeah. <laughs> Who would want to use that? Yeah, I bet no. it doesn't even fit in your pocket. No. <laughs> and then there's also this Batman one that we found, which I think is actually kind of cool. It was released during the Dark Knight Rises movie, and from what I heard, this one looks sharp and pointy to store as well. Might, might hurt a little bit. And the weirdest MP3 player we had found, the Rave MP. <laughs> Look at it! Who would make an MP3 player with one side flat and one side round? I don't know. It just looks like a lot. <laughs> yeah, and the controls are on the side, and from what I heard, the flat side is where they stuck the headphone jack. Uh, but after we come back from the break, we actually have a couple MP3 players here that we can show off. Um, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of blue, like, everywhere, which represents snow um, that we're going to get a lot of this morning and tonight. And today is going to be very cloudy, and tomorrow is going to be partly cloudy. Today we have a high of 25 degrees and a low of 12, and tomorrow we have a high of 32 degrees with a low of 17. we have an mp3 players to try out right here yes yeah, so let's just see how they work except that the fact that we couldn't get them to work they don't really work they're a little too dated but we do have weird phone looking mp3 players and this is the mp3 player i really like to like and this one's my personal favorite. I really like the shuffle. That's the one that I had growing up, and I remember listening to, like, older 2000s songs. Like, it's just funny, and it's, it's like, I just thought they were great. Mm -hmm. I think every kid probably had one of these that we have on the desk, whether it was, like, the original iPod, you had the shuffle, or whatever the big one's called. I don't even remember. I, th I think these two look, however, are less like MP3 players and more like iPhones. Yeah, that was more when everything started transitioning to iPhones, and now we just listen to our music straight from our phones. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you won't really use these anymore because we just use our phones. Yeah. I think we got more after sports. Yesterday, Jim Beheim unexpectedly called on the radio show On the Block with Brad X and announced that there is a succession plan for when he retires, and it's not his decision when this plan is executed. I'm Leah Rome with your sports. Well, I hope you have a great day. And if you like listening to music, I would consider using your phone, but I mean, you could use one of these if you really wanted to. There's no reason. That's all the time we have for today. So for me, Owen, and everyone else here at Spartan News, have a music to your ears day.